How would the Golden Hurricane react after the heartbreaking loss to East Carolina? It's a 9-11 home opener for TU as they take on the Bowling Green Falcons. All the highlights coming up on the Todd Graham Show next. The Todd Graham Show is brought to you by River Spirit Casino, play your way. Bill Knight Ford, home of the Bill Knight Advantage. Mazio's Pizza, proud sponsor of the Mazio's Family Fun Zone. And by the TU Home Team, a and Security, Mullen Plumbing and Air Assurance, helping you maintain your home field advantage. Now your host, Bruce Howard. Hello and welcome to the Todd Graham Show. I'm Bruce Howard, the Golden Hurricane, with our home opener on Saturday, 9-11, right here at H.A. Chapman Stadium. A 33-20 victory over Bowling Green University, and so TU now 1-1 one one on the season. In a moment, we'll be back with first-half highlights. That's coming up next on the Todd Graham Show. See you at TU! Hey, Tulsa fans, can you feel it? Tulsa is back in action on Saturday, September 25th as the Golden Hurricane faces Central Arkansas. Game time, 6 p.m. Tickets start at only $15. The first 5,000 fans receive a Tulsa Roll banner courtesy of Cox. Let them feel Tulsa football. Together, we cannot be defeated. Get your best seats today at TulsaHurricane.com or call 631-GO-TU. See you at TU! The third all-time meeting between the University of Tulsa and Bowling Green. If we welcome you back to the Todd Graham Show, well, the lead-up to the game interesting because Tulsa had one less day after the Sunday game against East Carolina, and of course, Tulsa coming off the tough loss to the Pirates. Let's get the run-up to the game and first-half highlights as we take you to my broadcast partner Rick Corey and head coach Todd Graham, gentlemen. All right, thanks, Bruce. So, coach, let's talk about just getting ready. We know the week was tough. We'll put all that behind us. But you had a short week to get ready for a Bowling Green team. How'd that go? Yeah, it was, it was a little bit hectic. You know, we didn't have much time to recover. The kids, uh, you know, naturally have to, we couldn't practice on Monday because of our academic schedule. But, uh, uh, you know, kids did a good job and, you know, really stayed focused and I thought prepared well. And now you, you know, it's week two, so at least you got a little bit of film. Last time you didn't have any film. So, I mean, that kind of makes you, gives you more comfort, doesn't it, when you can look at a team? Yeah, and I really, we, we didn't really focus much on them. We focused more on ourselves because that's uh, basically we'd beat ourselves the week before. We made uh, a lot of critical errors on the front, on the defensive line, and then in the back end, a lot of missed tackles and stuff on defense and didn't execute the pressures we were trying to execute. And uh, so we had lots of things we had to get better on. So, uh, and I was really proud of, uh, had a couple of true freshmen uh, mm -hmm. uh, step up and start tonight and two more, you know, contributing help, uh, DeMarco Nelson, uh, uh, Sean Jackson played awesome, uh, true freshman there, and then James Roberson and DeWitt Jennings also played on defense. So, really proud of those young guys and how well they're progressing. As a matter of fact, you'll see those young guys. Here are the first half highlights. Tulsa Bowling Green opening game at H.A. Chapman Stadium. Damaris Johnson for the Golden Hurricane, back deep to receive. Here's the approach. Wright's kickoff is high, end over end, and deep. Damaris Johnson takes it five yards deep in the end zone, and he will take a knee as we get it underway. G.J. Kinney out of the shotgun, and on the first play, he tosses a pass left side to Damaris Johnson across the 20. First down and 10 for TU at their 47-yard line. Handoff up the middle, a fumble by Trey Watts, and the ball is loose on the turf. Bowling Green, they say they have it, and they do. And quickly to the line of scrimmage, Schultz, and he'll throw it quickly to the right side, and catching it is Pronti, and he gets buried in the backfield back at the 43-yard line. This is play number 11, and Schultz with the sneak near the end zone. No signal yet. Bowling Green is signaling touchdown. Now the officials on pile, and it's a touchdown. Third down and six for TU at their 24. Kenny out of the shotgun, a blitz coming. He's back to pass. He throws down the seam, a man open, caught by Ricky Johnson, 45-yard line, and he stumbles down to the 35. Owens to the left with Clay and Roberson to the right is Trey Johnson, third and five. Kinney back to pass, throws over the middle. Clay jo uh, Trey Johnson catches it at the 25, and he sneaks forward to the 22-yard line. To the left is Trey Johnson, second and eight. Back to pass, Kinney. It's a draw play. Up the middle, dives forward to the 15. He powers his way down near the 14-yard line. Willie Carter in motion toward the formation. On third and four, the handoff goes up the middle. Trey Watts breaks a tackle at the 15, zooms forward to the 10, dives down to the seven yard line. This will be a 23 yard field goal attempt for Kevin Fitzpatrick, one of two last week. The snap is back, the placement down. Here's the kick on the way and good. 
Here's Fitzpatrick to kick it off for TU against the wind. High end over end. And it'll be taken by Bowling Green's Tyrone Pronti. Pronti up the middle. He gets hit at the 20 and will be knocked down at about the 22. Two receivers split to the left side. Single setback Jeter, and Jeter gets the carry. Now it's a flea flicker toss back to Schiltz. He'll throw over the middle, and it is intercepted for the Golden Hurricane by Marco Nelson. The freshman from Glenpool made the pickoff at the 46-yard line. They tried the flea flicker. Tulsa was not fooled, and Marco Nelson with his first interception in... Damaris Johnson to the right, two receivers to the left. Kinney back to pass, has time, throws right side. It's caught by Damaris Johnson, 40-yard line of Bowling Green. First down and 15 for the Golden Hurricane at the 42. Back to pass, Kinney. Here comes the rush. He steps up. Now he'll throw right side, and it is caught by Charles Clay. Right boundary, five and into the end zone. Touchdown, TU. What a perfect throw by G.J. Kinney. He laid it out there along the right boundary, and Charles Clay caught it on the run for a touchdown for the Golden Hurricane. Pronti to the left, Jordan to the right. Back to pass, Schiltz has time, now steps up, runs out of time and sacked. Has the first sack of his career for Daryl Zellers on third and 16 from the Tulsa 43-yard line. Out of the shotgun, Schiltz has the snap, back to pass. He steps up, now he'll run to the right, and he gets hit from behind and tackled at the 44. That's another sack for TU. Here's Kinney out of the shotgun. First down and Tulsa at their 32, leading 10 to 7. Hand off left side, Jatarian Douglas, good hole, 35. Breaks a tackle at the 38, zooms past the 40, and he stumbles forward to the 44-yard line. At Empty backfield, Kinney out of the shotgun, three to the right, two to the left. Kinney has the snap, drops back to pass inside rush, and he rolls to the right. Kinney on the run, now throws, and it is Cole with a nice sliding catch at the 32-yard line. First Snap back, placement down. Here's the kick on the way, and it is good. 7.39 remaining here in the first half. And out of the shotgun, it's Kinney, flanked by Clay, and flanked by Trey Watts, and the handoff. Clay up the middle, big hole, 45, 40, 35, 30, still on his feet. 25, 20, 18 yard line, Charles Clay. Kinney out of the shotgun, motion left to right by Damaris Johnson, handoff up the middle, Singleton. He crashes near the end zone and dives and is in. A score for Alex Singleton, three yard touchdown jaunt by the sophomore from Laplace, Louisiana, and Tulsa takes a 19-7 lead. Kinney out of the shotgun, has the snap, drops back to pass, steps up, throws near side, caught by Charles Clay at the 30, and Charles skips out of bounds at the 35, maybe the 36. And for G.J., that was a long out and a well-thrown ball. First and 10 TU, back to pass, Kinney throws near side, caught by Damaris Johnson, and jostled out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Second and 10 for TU at their 49. Back to pass, Kinney. Kinney will run to the left. He's at the 45. Now throws it at the last moment. Complete to Ricky Johnson. Left side and bumped out of bounds at the 31-yard line. They still haven't reset the clock at 42. Now back to pass Kinney. He throws high in the air toward the end zone. Trey Johnson is there. He catches it, and that is a touchdown to you. Trey Johnson catches it in the corner of the end zone, and the Golden Hurricane on a 25-yard touchdown toss. G.J. Kinney to Trey Johnson has made it a 26-14 score. So at halftime, the University of Tulsa leading 27-14 over Bowling Green. Second half highlights coming up next on the Todd Graham Show. I play for the game. I play for second chances. I play for... For the community. I play for my dad. I play for my education and my team. I play for my parents. I play for my family. We play for different reasons. But we all play for something bigger than ourselves. I play for you. I play for you. 